Gulshan Mufi and I am with you uh, in this whole session which is on developing uh, graphic resources uh, with hands on so today we, we will discuss about uh, the graphic resources in the previous session uh, you had you had a session on instructional designing uh, by dr agita deshmukh in which uh, she has discussed with you uh, how instructional designing can be done and how you can give the instructions because Wherever you are giving the instructions to the students or to anybody, you have to give the instruction in the, in the small steps so that the instruction can be clear and you can convey your information very clearly to your audience. So audience can be everyone. And uh, in continuation to that uh, uh, session, uh, we have planned this session of uh, uh, developing graphics in which we will discuss how you can create the graphics and how you can create the mind maps because mind maps are also a form of graphics and in this session we will learn how we can uh, we will discuss also uh, how we can uh, write or how we can plan the small steps in which we can create our graphics or infographics or our mind map so uh, i hope the previous session will be very uh, uh, that uh, was very helpful for you yeah And uh, you will learn something in this session also. So now I'll start with my PPT, which is on graphic resources. Just give me a second, please. So let's discuss what are graphics. As you can see in this um, uh, slide, the definition of graphics, a graphic is an image or visual representation of an object combined text, illustration or color. If I ask you, what do you understand by this term graphics? Uh, I hope you are very well aware of this term and maybe some of you are uh, the expert of developing graphics. Uh, I believe that there are some experts uh, with us also in this session. Uh, so whenever, sorry, whenever we create uh, the graphics, the graphics can be in the form of charts, in the form of maps, diagrams, photographs, images, drawings, and paintings. And maybe as a teacher, you have also all these types of graphics in your classroom also. Somewhere in your subject or somewhere in your classroom, maybe uh, if you are the teacher of um, the social science, uh, uh, you might have used the charts in your teaching and learning. You might have used the maps also, diagrams also, some images also. So we all are teacher here and uh, somewhere in our teaching, uh, we have used all these types of graphics to make our, uh, uh, make our students understand about a particular information and uh, to make our topic clear with the help of these types of graphics. And why graphics are important? What is the importance of graphics? As you can see, uh, the students or our audience can have a better memory for pictures and for corresponding words. If you uh, explain something uh, to your students or your, to your audience in the form of uh, pictures, then it will be retained there in their memory for a longer time. And the user, what, uh, whoever is the user, he or she can extract the information on any subject very easily. Also, there uh, is a conceptual development in an exciting way. And you can also explain complex information uh, in an effective manner. Of, of course, uh, whenever you are sharing the graphics with your audience uh, or based on, on it, uh, any topic or any title, uh, it will give a visual information of any data. So uh, like uh, if you want to explain a big amount of data to your student, uh, for example, uh, the data on the census. So you can uh, present in front of them that data in the form of charts, uh, in the form of bar charts, in the form of pie charts. So uh, if you present the data, a particular data in the form of uh, visuals it can be 
better understood by them. So graphics also can add valuable context and information and the graphics can provide unique and time-saving resources. So the, uh, here are some importance of graphics uh, which we have shared with you. And you also, I, uh, I believe that you also are aware of these types of uh, importance because you, you, uh, you use graphics in your teaching. So in this slide, we have shown some examples of graphics. If you see uh, this slide, then uh, you can see that we have conveyed an information on how to wear a non-medical fabric mask safely. So in uh, this graphic, we have shown what are the do's and what are the don'ts. And uh, if you see the graphic which is given on the right hand side, where, uh, which names as Wikipedia for educators, <coughs> we are showing here the number of courses in a particular academic year. See, uh, we are showing uh, the data of whole year in a form of this small picture, which is, uh, you can also see graphics. So here is an example of uh, infographics, you can say, uh, in, through which we can share a large number of data in the form of pictures or in the form of infographics. Now we are again and again using this term infographics. So what are infographics? So you are very well aware that infographics are graphical, uh, visual representation of any information, data or knowledge. If we, if we are sharing a large number of information, a huge number of information or huge number of data, uh, if you want to share a huge number of information and uh, data with our audience, then we can share. Uh, if you share it in the text form, that it will be very uh, difficult for the audience to understand or read the whole document, a uh, long uh, uh, 10 or 12 page document, it will be very difficult for them to read and understand the data. But if you uh, present that data in the form of a chart or in the form of a picture or in the form of graphics with some information in that uh, particular uh, graphic, then it will be called infographic because you are sharing the information in a graphical form. So here it is, we have uh, mentioned some of the educational uses of infographic that infographic uh, or the graphics can be used as visual aids as it can be uh, used as discussion starters and you can introduce a topic or give an overview of the lesson and for visualizing data. So let's discuss the features of uh, graphics and infographics that if you use infographics uh, for any uh, information that uh, uh, the feature uh, are it's uh, uh, the infographics are very comprehensive. One can see and understand what you are showing them in that particular infographic. And uh, the graphics, uh, the graphical representation is also very appealing and retentive for the audience. So if you present anything in the form of graphic or infographic in front of your students, if you are the primary teacher, uh, then you can better uh, observe this thing also that the small children learn better with the help of pictures and with the help of infographics where you provide less information in text and more information with the help of graphic. So if you are using infographic in your teaching or if you are conveying anything uh, uh, by the use of infographic, then the information will be retentive in the memory of the audience. Here again, we have shown you some types of infographics in the form of pictures. Here uh, on the top left hand side, you can see the difference between the coffee and tea. And <clears throat> these uh, four icons, uh, in these four icons, we have shown that how coffee is uh, different with tea. And if you see the image of this map, here some infographic has been shared 
So here are you can see uh, uh, below you can see an example of timeline. So if you want to show the changes in a particular phenomena during a particular time, then in that uh, for that thing you can uh, use the uh, format of timeline. So uh, we have shared here some types of infographics with share here you can see on uh, the top right corner the process of photosynthesis in the form of infographics. So if you are a science teacher and you are teaching a concept to your students, you can either use the concept mapping uh, or you can also show that particular concept with the help of infographics. And there are many tools and applications through which you can create and develop the infographics. So here again is an example of timeline infographics. You can see there. And there uh, are many tools as I have just said that uh, there are many tools and applications uh, through which you can create the infographics. Uh, there is one very much common tool uh, which you already use. So some of our uh, in the, this uh, a session there are many participants who have used canva earlier they are familiar with easily also so these are the infographic tools through canva you can create multiple type of uh, uh, multiple type and multiple in multiple format you can create infographics you can create uh, small reels also you can create the ppts also in canva you can create uh, uh, a worksheet also you can create uh, uh, some audios also in the uh, with the help of these uh, this application. Uh, there is one more application that is easily. So I also want to inform you that earlier most of the features of Canva are free, but uh, now some are paid. And uh, similarly in the easily also in this uh, tool easily, uh, many of the features are now paid, but earlier it was free. So it was very easy for the teachers and uh, teacher educators to use this application. Then uh, there is one more uh, you know, uh, application or tool that is Vangage, PictoChart, Wisebeam, Infogram, Visualize Me. Here I have given some of the infographic tools, but these are not the only tools to which you can create infographics. There are many more tools and applications available online and free also through which you can uh, create the infographics. So here is the home screen of Canva as uh, you have already used. So I have just put this uh, home screen to make you familiarize with the home screen of Canva. If you have used it or if you have you have not used this application, we will take you to, uh, to this uh, application in this session also. And to, uh, if you want to use all the features and if, if you want to take the benefit of any application, I would suggest you that you have, you can, uh, you should log into that particular application. So here you can see uh, a button for login and there is another button which is in blue that is for sign up. So if you are not having any account on this application, you can sign up or if you are already uh, you, have, you have already an account, then you can simply log in uh, through any application. So, yes. You can log in through your Google account with your Facebook account or with your uh, another email ID or there are another methods also through which you can log in to that, uh, to Canva or to any other application. So when you log in uh, uh, in this application, you will you can now start creating your documents as you can see on this picture you can create documents you can use the whiteboard you can create the presentations you can create the social media posts or social media banners you can also create the videos and uh, print products and you can also create small websites uh, for you so it depends what is the need uh, for you 
and uh, what type of content you want to create what is the need of uh, creating that particular type of content it uh, depends on that and you can create number of uh, content or number of uh, infographics with the help of this application which is known as canva then again uh, if you want to create a worksheet or a <clears throat> uh, for your students uh, there is uh, i have uh, yes So here in the next slide, I am creating I am creating a worksheet for the students, and uh, here is a screenshot. I'll uh, I'm not uh, explaining you uh, this application through the screenshots only. I will take you to that application uh, right now. So this is just for your information that how it looks. You can add many types of uh, graphics or many types of pictures uh, in this uh, uh, application. And these are the images of those pictures which you can in, uh, insert in your particular content which you are creating. So, uh, yes. The next one is Google Slides. Uh, I hope you all have used uh, the Google Drive and its features, Gmail key features. I hope you all have used. So there is one feature of uh, Gmail, no, Google, sorry, that is Google Slide. And <clears throat> through Google Slide, you can create uh, presentations online. So if you want to create uh, uh, online presentations, online PPT, then you can opt for this option of Google Slide. And uh, you will find this option in the, uh, in the nine dots uh, of the Google Drive. So for creating uh, the Google slide or Google sheet or any Google document, you must have a Gmail account. Then you can go to your Google Drive and select the Google slide option. Then uh, in Google slide also, you can customize your page setup uh, according to your need. And you can also <coughs> Insert images, text box, audio, video, shapes uh, of your choice, whatever presentation you are creating. Uh, you can choose these uh, images as per your need. So here is an example of a diagram which I, we have shown you in the slide. I am just running through my presentation because I want to take you to the uh, this uh, the online drive. So there is one more website through which you can create your presentations. And in this website, that is uh, slidesgo.com, you can explore it simultaneously with this session also. If you explore this website, you can find a number of templates which you can use in your PowerPoint presentation. So there are already provided uh, templates and design of the templates which you can use freely. So these templates are uh, not chargeable. You don't have to pay anything for this. You simply have to log in in this uh, website and you can avail a number of uh, templates provided in this website that is slidesgo.com. So here, in this slide, we have some examples of slide go. And in this, uh, in these examples, we, we will show you the arrow timeline, the, if you want to create uh, the PPT on a TV series, and uh, there is one example for that also. Uh, now let's go to the one first example. Yes, if you want to create a timeline in the form of arrow then you can select this template and if you click on one template you will find many more template of timeline available in this website yes
yes we will take you to the um, uh, website also and we i'll go, go slow so the next example is let's click on this uh, link if you want to create a social media post then there are templates available for that also so here is an here is an example of that so the choice is yours whatever you are creating what you are, whatever you are developing it depends on the topic and your choice and the need there are lot of options lots of uh, there are lots of uh, templates available in uh, this website that is slidesgo.com now i am audible i think yes ma'am you are audible thank you so concept maps and mind maps are also a type of graphics isn't it or not can we call the concept map and mind map a type of infographic yes so uh, i'm not going to my next slide but i want to ask you what is a mind map and what is a concept map and have you ever used the concept map or the mind map in your classroom or anywhere else i believe you must have used yes okay okay used to summarize both are different yes both are different there is a slight difference in uh, mind map and concept map flash of the slide is theek hai concept map deals with concept okay used okay so from your comments and from your um, uh, answers i can figure out that you all have used a concept map and you all have used the mind maps also so what are the concept map as you say concept map is used to define a particular concept and whenever we define a particular concept we must have a main idea or the main concept yeah thank you thank you now you can stop writing now you can stop writing in the chat box ha huh. so whenever we create the concept map we must have a main idea and uh, concept can be anything uh, whatever you think is difficult for your student and you want to explain that particular thing that particular main idea to your student in a in an easier manner then uh, you have uh, you you have to break that main idea or you have to break that concept in the smaller ideas or the smaller concepts so uh, for concept mapping we must have a main idea or a main concept as you can see uh, in this image also which is uh, given here in the slide that the main concept is climatic change and i want to explain my students why climatic change uh, happens so uh, i have created a mind map or uh, actually i haven't created this mind map i have taken it from somewhere and for that i have mentioned the source also from where i have taken this concept map so uh, uh the con this concept is uh, has been broken into small concept and further the small concept uh, has been broken into sub sub concept so that this particular main idea of climate change can be explained easily to the audience so for creating uh, concept maps or the mind maps one should have a main idea or one should have a main concept and those concepts should be related to each other through the relationships line a uh, questions i'll take later on of the after this session abhi uh, i request you all to listen to this session i will take i will definitely take all your questions okay i know you all are expert of this thing but let's discuss we are discussing here i am not teaching you anything we are discussing i'll learn something from you and uh, i hope i'll convey something uh, something to you which will be uh, beneficial for you so we are uh, we have given here some examples of concept map here you can see in this slide 
you can draw concept map in this manner also where the central idea is broken into key concept and uh, the key concepts or the uh, sub concepts are further broken into sub sub concepts then there is an, an another example of uh, the types of concept map you can create the concept map uh, in the form of spider map in the form of flow chart in the form of hi hierarchy map the system map so in this figure i have shown uh, i have tried to show you the a bit difference between the mind map and the concept map as it is clear in this picture that whenever there is a, i have said that there is a slight difference between mind map and concept maps but they both looks similar so if we draw a mind map we have to take one idea or one concept which we break further but if we are drawing if we are making a concept map we can uh, explain many concept in one concept map we can take more than one concept in a concept map but if we are drawing a mind map then we have to take we can take only one concept so mind maps are mind maps are i am asking you you are continuously writing in the chat box mind maps you are taking only one concept but the concept maps are a comprehensive one because you are explaining multiple concepts in one concept map as you can see in this slide you can see the this picture in this picture uh, uh, this picture you can see there are many central ideas the first one is this organized knowledge then you can see uh, this is a concept map of grammar i think and uh, as you can see the definition that a concept map or conceptual diagram is a diagram that depicts suggested relationship between concepts it is a graphical tool used to depict the relationship between multiple concepts so in the concept map you are taking multiple concept but in the mind map you are taking one concept only so here is the definition of mind map you can read it or take the picture of this slide so here i want to share you uh, some applications uh, uh, with you of uh, concept mapping tools uh, here are the uh, some applications through which you can create the concept map that is bubble.us poplet mind map create click ogle to switch chart mind mister mind domo the spider stripe and there are many more applications here we have given few only so i am skipping this slide why we use concept map you all knows and uh, you have uh, I responded in the chat box also why you use concept maps in your classroom so also in this <clears throat> slide i have shared some type of applications with their specifications as you can see uh, i have uh, shown here the name of application uh, the platform on which this application can be used and the use of this explanation uh, application and also uh the last column you can see the important export files that is uh, the extensions these applications are having so you can have a look on this slide only yes i will tell you more applications please wait i have already given in this slide and in the next slide also you can see there are more names of applications through which you can create mind map and concept maps no i i am not saying that they are open source you have to explore this application whatever explain uh, application you are using you have to explore that one but which uh, the applications which we will discuss in this sessions are open source so there is one applications i also uh, want to share with you that is e draw mind with the help of e draw mind you can create uh mind maps and concept maps so here is the link of uh, this uh, application uh, i don't know whether it is visible to you i'm taking you to the next slide yes 
yes you must have heard about this application that is visual understanding environment it is uh, a desktop application it is not available as mobile application in your um, uh, this a uh, play store uh, but you can use it in your on your desktops or on your laptops so i request you all to download this application on your laptops or on your desktops through visual understanding environment also you can create concept map let's go further yes uh, so uh, this is the home screen of visual understanding environment and apart from this application you can also explore mindomo i am writing in the chat box mindomo uh, mindomo uh, mind mister free mind free plane and there are other applications also which you can use for creating mind map and concept map <clears throat> ppt some uh, participants are request uh, requesting for ppts only so uh, are you only interested in ppt don't you want to attend this session sir ppt to dei denge hum log if you are here only for ppt then please uh, uh, tell us honestly yes so the, here is a uh, home screen of visual understanding environment i request you all to download this application uh, for downloading this application uh, you have to click on download button and the, here you can see that uh, it is asking you whether uh, you are using the operating system of windows uh, or the mac os or the linux and uh, i hope uh, the most of you are using the windows operating system as i am also using then click on the download view for windows this uh, uh, link click on this link download window for view you will find a setup under the download folder please download this application with me i am waiting for you actually if you are using uh, using uh, the mac version then you can uh, click on this link download view for mac os operating system so after downloading you will find the setup here under this download button which is view installer zip file open the zip file <coughs> is my screen visible like uh, i am sharing a bit yes uh so you will find this view installer just click on this the second file and it will ask you to extract all files run the setup and uh, the cancel to cancel the this setup click on the run button
there is no mobile application for view sir uh, rituparna ma'am uh, you are asking uh, there is no mobile application for this application that is view okay now you can see the setup is asking for running and to cancel this uh, click on the run button and the whole application will get downloaded on your uh, systems please confirm after downloading this please confirm me in the chat box after downloading this application okay while you are in the process of downloading this um, uh, application i am taking you uh, through uh, the another application which we have discussed in our uh, ppt that is slidesgo.com so please wait for a second you keep on downloading view i am again sharing my screen and showing you how you can access slides go so simply you have to open your google chrome browser and in the search browser you have to write slides go the very first link of slidesgo.com you can click on that and you can decide your profile whether you are an educator you are a student you are a marketer you are a medical professional and other so here we all are educator now you are on the home screen of slides go okay here you will find as i have already said the number of templates and you can choose the template as per your requirement on the top of this home page you will find the trending searches the latest themes the popular themes you can choose the theme of your choice or you can search the template as per your requirement with the help of this search bar so uh, you just tell me uh, what do you want to search here suppose you are creating a presentation for your student on the topic okay technology let's talk uh, let's take this uh, title technology after searching you will find the number of templates here i'm scrolling down you can see large number of templates on technology and its areas you can find the templates on ai also okay and as per you as per your need as per your requirement you can uh, select the templates so i am again uh, checking the uh, templates for education so let's see one template that is digitization in classroom so the good thing is 
you can edit this template you can all uh, you can edit this template and you can modify the given templates as per your need so in this template you will find 63 templates and you can use this template or you can create your own ones uh, here you can see the button of create whenever you uh, click on this button you will find a menu here with the help of this menu you can find uh, you can choose uh, the templates You can also try on your uh, laptops or your on your mobiles. So another one which we have discussed uh, in this session is the Mindomo. I will take you to the home screen of Mindomo. Mindomo is also an application through which you can create mind maps and uh, concept maps. Uh, no, slides go is not chargeable but some of the templates are paid i will show you uh, uh, how you can ad identify the uh, paid templates go to the home screen and you can see this crown mark so uh, here is a template of a spooky storybook and uh, you can see a crown mark on this template which means that this template is paid you have if you want to use this template you have to pay uh, some amount another one is also if you scroll down you will find uh, the sim simple animated transition newsletter uh, here is all here also you can find this crown mark which means where, wherever you find a uh, crown mark that means that that particular template is paid and these templates you can see you are not seeing anything like that uh, we, then it means that uh, you can yes you can see the download option also yeah, these templates are free and wherever this crown mark is given it means that this template is chargeable yes so if you click on the download button you can see that uh, it is asking to you to download this particular template in the Google slide, in the PowerPoint format or in, uh, in the Canva. You can download this template uh, in any application as per your uh, requirement. So another one is which I was talking about is the Mindomo application. Mindomo is available uh, in the Google Play Store also, you can download this application on your mobiles and also you can use it as a desktop version also. So uh, here is the home screen of uh, Mindomo. And I have already logged in uh, the, into this application. As you can see, uh, my account is there. You can also log in uh, in this application with the help of your Gmail account or any other email account. So uh, you can see the features of this application by scrolling down on the home page. So here it is showing you the features that there are beautiful layout, stylish look platform is independent, offline and online synchronizations. Now I'm I have taken you in, uh, into this application by clicking on this uh, logo of Mindomo. Here you will find some of the mind maps which I have already created for another sessions also. So uh, I'm showing you uh, one of the mind map. It is a draft only. It is not the final one, but it is a draft for a session. So uh, let's click on this. Yes, it is asking me to insert a topic because I have already created this mind map. I am not creating a new mind map. It is my already created mind map. And uh, um, uh, when I open this mind map, it is again asking me whether I want to insert a new topic or whether I want to customize the already given topic. 
but i don't want to make any change i simply want to show you what i have, we have made earlier i just click on this and you can see uh, that it is a draft of a mind map in which you, uh, we explain the environment the environment is solution and how we can we save environment and what are the challenges uh, uh, we face in our environment so it is a draft uh, let's go backwards you can see some other mind maps also but now uh, we will discuss how we, how can we create a new mind map with the help of this application so here you can see two buttons a button of create and a button of import so if we want to uh, if we want to create a new mind map we can click on this button of create but if we have already created mind map uh, in our mobile or in our uh, laptops we can import that already created mind map in this application also so let's see what is there in under these three bars yes you will find these options you can go to the home page of uh, mindomo and uh, this is ical task it is something for calculation then uh, you can uh, if you have created some bookmarks also, then you can reach to your bookmarks with the help of these options. You can access the documents or you can uh, access uh, the deleted charts through the recycle bin. Then there are more options. Yes, dashboard layout, order items, and you can explore uh, the other options also. So let's start creating a mind map. Hanji, yes, this is OER. Uh, yeah, OER... Uh, it is a free application, but if you are creating a mind map with the help of this application, it depends on you that the resource you are creating with this application, you can, uh, you want to make it as OER or you want to apply some copyright on that particular resource. So OER are the open educational resources. You are creating a resource through this application. Okay. As I have already created a mind map, then this mind map is a resource for the learner. So it depends on me whether I want to uh, apply a copyright on this resource or not. So we are the one who are creating the resources or we are making the resources open for all or we are restricting these resources. Okay. Uh, which application should we use for creating? I am telling you I am telling you the same thing. How you can create the mind map. Okay. So click on the create button. And you will go. To the templates. You will find many templates on the. Uh, uh, for creating the mind map or the concept map. Uh, you can choose a blank mind map also. You can uh, choose a blank concept map. Or you can uh, choose the. Uh, these types of uh, mind maps uh, like Fishmore or if you want to create a timeline you can create th these types of templates let's create one blank mind map okay now it is saying that uh, it is a premium feature you have to upgrade it okay But earlier it was free. You can try the mobile application also because uh, I have already used this application on mobile also and created many uh, mind maps. So uh, now it is saying that it is a premium feature. So maybe uh, by the time the features uh, have changed. But you can explore it. The what, uh, Whichever template is free, you can use that template. And it is a very basic tool for creating the mind maps and the concept map. So uh, the, uh, you can see that uh, it is saying the mind, uh, the application say, uh, says mind domo. Uh, and uh, also it is uh, asking you to create the mind maps. So it is not restricted for creating only mind maps. You can create the concept map also with the help of this application. So now if you have downloaded view then I'll request you to go to the home page of Visual Understanding Environment. I hope you all have downloaded this application. 
So if you have downloaded this application, you can uh, see this type of icon. Uh, I'm sharing my home screen. I'll just wait. Hmm. So if you have already downloaded this application, you can see uh, this type of icon that is V on your desktop or in your, uh, you can, yes. I hope you can see on your desktop. Just click on it because I have already downloaded this application. So it is there in my uh, laptop. Let's open this application and do a hands-on on this. I hope this screen is visible to you. This is called the map area, the empty map area. If you open your application of visual understanding environment on your desktop or on your laptop, you will find this empty map area. Please confirm me in the chat box by writing yes in the chat box that you have opened this application. Okay, thank you. Now let's create a mind map. I will explain you the feature of this application and I request you all to create one concept map on the subject you are teaching or any concept of your choice. Okay, so uh, let's see the on the very top bar you can see the menu bar it is the menu bar where, where, where you will find the menu of file edit and view if you click on the file menu you will you will you can uh, see a drop down menu in which there are many options which you, you can see in the uh, word or the or your excel file also you are you all are familiar with these types of uh, options that is new if you want to create a new mind map you have to click on new if you want to uh, open an already existing mind map then um, you have to click on open option then there are many more options which are very much familiar to us okay then the another one is edit and under this menu, you can find the edit options and uh, under this view, you can find uh, the zoom in, zoom out option, fit map, full screen and other options also. So, so uh, on the very top of this home screen, you can find the uh, um, uh, this uh, menu bar and under this menu bar, you will find the drawing tools. As you can see, the very first one arrow is the selection tool. The second one is the node tool. The third one is the linking tool. The fourth one is the rapid prototyping. It is the uh, text tool, the zoom in, zoom out tool. And this hand type of icon is called the move canvas op uh, option. And if you have created the layers of your mind map, a concept map or the mind map, uh, here in this, uh, in this application, there is an option of creating layers. If you have created multiple layers of uh, concept map, they can, then you can play uh, those layers with the help of this play button. Okay. So now, as we have already discussed that for creating a concept map, we must have a central idea. And for depicting the central idea, we have to draw a node. So let's click on this node, take your arrow on the node tool, click on that, bring it back to the map area and drag your cursor. As you can see, a node tool has been created here on the map area. Also, it is asking for some text because we are creating a central idea. Uh, we have to right here the main idea or the central idea it could be anything suppose uh, we are creating a concept map again on environment so 
So this is my central idea. I can move this node tool to upward or to downward also with the help of our up and down arrow keys which are given on the keyboards. Uh, keyboard, sorry. Yes. So now if I, I ask you, uh, okay, I'll repeat it. You have to select this node tool simply. Uh, yes. Here you can see the arrow. Take your arrow to the second drawing tool, which is called node tool. Click on this. When you click on the node tool, your cursor, cursor will convert or in this plus icon. Just bring this plus icon or the, this cursor on the map area and drag it. In our laptops, with the touch, uh, this uh, touch pad, you will find uh, two buttons. That is the left button and the right button. You uh, can select this node tool and click on the left button of the touch pad and you can drag your uh, node and you can increase or decrease the size of this node. It is very simple. You can just try it. Yes, yes. We can change the background color also. I am telling you step by step. We have created only one node here. Now I am asking you how, uh, what are the components of environment? I want to expand my <clears throat> concept map and I want to add more subtopics here in my concept map. So I am, I want to add the, uh, components of environment so what are these i want to ask you because i i'll draw this concept map with the help of you only yes please tell the components of our environment <coughs> chalo let's take weather okay theek hai <coughs> again you select the node tool and click on the map area. You can see I have created one more node. Then one more node I have added. <coughs> I have created three nodes here and I can write <coughs> the text also. So you have uh, just written here, you have uh, uh, written that uh, uh, one of the component is weather, okay. Then the, another one is air. Then the, and I, bas, abhi, bas, please stop. Abhi humko teeni chahiye. <coughs> okay. Let's take land. So here I have added three sub concepts to this mind maps. Okay. Now I want to show the relationship between these main concept and the sub concept. So how can I do that? I will again go to my drawing bar and the third option, the third option in the drawing bar is link tool. I will select that link tool, come again to my map area and I bring my cursor to the main concept, which is environment. Okay. To the side of this main concept, I bring, I brought my cursor to the side of this main concept. I kept my cursor there. I again click the left button given in the laptop stretch pad and I started dragging my cursor. As you can see, by dragging my cursor, I have drawn a link between the main concept and the sub concept. Okay. And as I draw this link between the main concept and sub concept, automatically a linking word appears. This small box is asking me to write a linking word between the main concept and the sub concept. And in this linking word, I want, I will add component. 
okay because we are writing here the component of environment i can edit it also components i'll write here its component theek hai so one of the component uh, component of environment is land another one is air and i again want uh, again have to connect this main concept with this sub concept then again i have i, I have to take my cursor to the link tool <laughs> and then i will connect my main concept with this another sub concept now it is again asking me for a linking word but because i have already given a linking word that uh, is component so i think there is no need of uh, adding another linking word here but if there is a need arises of adding a linking word i can add it also so i will delete this box here you can see i have drawn link between the two concepts and again the third concept also in this manner i can expand my concept map so what else i can add to this concept map you suggest me till now we have written all only the components so what else we can add to this concept map types of environment theek hai uh, so what what are the types of environment okay i am again uh, i am adding here uh, uh, as per your suggestions i am adding here a node on pollution and then we can extend it as uh, uh, extend this node let's add one our node of pollution now i am expanding here as hang on types of pollution so how many types of pollutions are there causes also we can add yes let's write here types of pollution uh, sorry uh, air pollution then the another one is i'm dra dragging this oh, sorry i'm dragging this node water pollution land pollution now let's connect these uh, nodes with the sub nodes for connecting i again have to click on the linking tool and have to take my cursor to my main node and then again i have to draw a link between this node and the sub node and in the connecting word i will write types pollution ki types kya kya hai air land and water so let's connect it with the another type of pollution 
you can also move your linking tool and uh, i have to drag this sub node so i have to select it and drag it at the desired place So for linking again, I am clicking on, as you can see that uh, it is very simple to create uh, the concept map. You only have to use these two options of a node and the relationship line. So I think it is clear uh, to you now what we are trying to create. But here uh, you can see there is a D-link between the environment and pollution. So how can we link this? these two terms so we can connect again the main concept with the sub concept and because pollution is a challenge to our own environment we can write it as a connecting word challenges one of the challenges pollution then there are other challenges also uh, which you can add to your concept map. So here is a, con a small concept map which, uh, which I tried to draw with the help of your suggestions. Uh, but we can expand it also. And a, con a good concept map is that which has which is more comprehensive and uh, in which you have added more sub ideas. So a good concept map is a comprehensive version. So I suggest you to. Uh, add more sub-concepts or add more concept uh, into your concept map so that uh, you can break that uh, difficult concept into the easier terms and you can explain it in an easier manner. So as you can see, As you can see in this uh, concept maps, all the nodes and all the nodes look look same, hmm? isn't it? Uh, we are not able to identify which is the main concept or which is uh, which are the sub concepts because all look same. Hmm? So if you if you want to make a difference between these uh, uh, these nodes, we can uh, format it with the help of formatting palette and this formatting palette you will find under the windows menu wherever you click this option window menu you will find a formatting palette just click on that I hope you all have found uh, that uh, this uh, formatting palette. With the help of this formatting palette, you can format your concept map. Suppose this is my main concept environment and I want to uh, make it visible to my students. So if I want to make it visible to my students, I can uh, change the color uh, as one of you have asked also, can we change the background color? Yes, we can change the background color. Just change the background color of the main concept, which is environment. Just uh, select this node, go to the windows menu. First, you have to do the selection, go to the windows menu, open the formatting palette. And here, under the shape option, you can change the shape of your main concept as per your need or uh, as you desire you can change the shape of it and you can also fill the color of your choice just click on the fill option and click the relevant color and choose the color of your choice now you can see 
the your main concept gets visible hmm. so here uh, we have explained the components which are land air and weather and i want to give them a same color Yes, and then again, you have to select all these nodes. Okay, select all these nodes. Hello, the background color. Because these all are the components, then we will color all these nodes in one color. Now you can see by the color that, that these subconcepts are only the components of environment. Here again, there is one more subconcept which is pollution. Formatting palette you will find under the Windows menu. <coughs> menu you will find the formatting palette <laughs> then there is one more some concept this that is uh, choose a color for this sub concept नहीं आ रही थी हाँ आवाज आ रही है। We are just connecting back shortly. There was some network issue. So we'll just resume the session. Yes, Diksha, uh, I'm audible, I think, now. Yes, ma'am, you're audible. Uh, okay, thank you, thank you. So, I was disconnected for a few seconds, sorry for that. I'm again sharing my screen. So, we were here on this map. So again, uh, we have uh, uh, changed the background color of the sub node, and uh, uh, this sub node is related to this sub -con sub concept uh, uh, because we are explaining here uh, the types of pollution. So again, uh, we will select these sub nodes and change the background color. The color of your choice you can choose. 
you can also move your mind map by selecting the whole mind map if you select the whole mind map you can change its appearance you can shrink it you can expand it as per your choice i i hope you all have drawn a small mind map with me also okay thank you so now uh, till now we have uh, learned how we can uh, uh add the node and sub node to the concept maps but there is one more very interesting feature of this visual understanding environment that you can add the nodes to your uh, mind map and you can also add the uh, website links to your uh, mind map you can add any additional information in your mind maps so like uh, if you want to add some additional information in this node which is we have created on pollution so if you want to add uh, additional information then you have to select this node just right click on it and you can sh you can see the options given under this menu so uh, you can also find the formatting palette here you can add additional nodes to your uh, this uh, particular node you can add the keywords you can generate the keywords you can add the urls of the website you can add any image or file to your mind map and you can also add the flickr image there are many more options also which you can use to modify or to you make your mind map more informative and interactive so now let's see how we can add the nodes to our mind maps just click on this particular node node sorry uh, right click on it and click on the option of add nodes as i have clicked on the option of add nodes you will see that a dialog box has been appeared which is asking me for the nodes so you you can see here the node label it is pollution given here and the node nodes here you can add here you can a uh, copy or text from any uh, relevant information and you can paste that uh, text here or you can simply type the additional information i am writing here the random text you can simply write the uh, text here in this note box if you want to add the keywords you can add the keywords also and when i close this dialog box you will see a pencil mark on this note and when i take my cursor when i take my cursor to this particular node uh, uh, to this pencil mark i can see the nodes which i have added here i hope it is clear uh, to you and visible to you am i audible is my voice clear so in this manner i can add the additional nodes in my node in any node or if you want to add any url of any website uh, like uh, here you are drawing only a concept map in which you are giving the information into small concepts but you also want to sh uh, share some additional information to your students you want your students to go to a particular website and explore the that website and read something Uh, relevant to that particular to topic then you can add the website link here also because the concept map is not enough you want to share more information with your student so how we can add the urls again we have to select the node and do the right click on it and we can click on the add url option in this url option you can paste the address of that website 
whatever is the address of that website you can type here you can write it on your own i have just sh shown you how you can add the website here similarly i can also add any image also any relevant image also in my mind maps uh, like uh, i want to show uh, how oh, what is air pollution and how, uh, how air pollution can be caused so <clears throat> if i want to show the cause of air pollution i want to add a relevant uh, image uh, in my concept map then i can click on the node on this node right click on it and click on add image option yes now it is asking for the location where you have saved your image because right now i am not having any image i request you to save an image in advance uh, in your computer so that you can add it easily in your concept map so uh, suppose i have saved my image somewhere in the, on the desktop i select on the, the image and click on the open option and by default sorry uh, after this process you can see the image added here <clears throat> So I have one uh, some random images here. I'll show you how I, I can add. It is simply a random image. I am only showing you, you the process, how you can add the image. So uh, as you have add, added an image in your uh, a particular node, you can see <clears throat> the icon here again. And if you click on this uh, icon, you will find, you can see the whole image which you have added to your concept map. So it, I have already said that it is a random image. I request you all to add the relevant image to your mind map so that you can provide additional information to your audience or to your student. So <clears throat> here I have shared you with you the basics of creating mind maps with the help of visual understanding environment till now. If you are having any questions, any doubts, you can ask. Yes, uh, you can unmute yourself and you can ask the question. So you will have a full-fledged uh, session on the AI also. <laughs> this question you can ask there. I can answer you, but I don't want to answer this question here because uh, you will have a session on AI also. Eight minute. I'll take the questions one by one. Yes, if you want to add the URL, simply click on the particular node where you want to add the URL. Just right click, right click on that node and you will uh, see the add URL option I'm showing you here. Click, right click on that node. And under that option, you can find the add URL option. I hope I am clear. You can save your mind map in uh, multiple formats. I'll show you how you can save. Just click, uh, go to the 
file menu <coughs> and click on save as option it will ask by default it will be saved in dot vue uh, with an extension of dot vue but <coughs> you can save your mind map as an interactive as pdf as jpg png svg rd as per your requirement it is it depends on the requirement where you are using uh, this mind map it depends on you and you can save it in multiple formats <coughs> slideshow if you want to do the slideshow you have to create the layers of mind map and then you can do the slideshow Yes, all uh, uh, mostly all the applications have the similar features. For changing the background color, sim simply you have to go to the Windows menu and under Windows menu, you will find the uh, this formatting palette. <clears throat> With the help of formatting palette, you can do all the formatting. Adding picture again, uh, you have to select the node, click the right uh, uh, button of your, uh, just right click on it. Uh, just right click on the node and uh, you can find the option of add image or file, add URL, add resources, photo, BSE add karenge. <coughs> Print, uh, if you want to uh, take out the print of your mind map, then uh, you can save your uh, mind map in the PDF version and then you can take the print out. <clears throat> now you uh, try your hands on on this application and draw a mind map on your subject and on the topic of your choice. So, anything else? I think I'm on time, Diksha ma'am. Yes, ma'am. So, thank you so much, ma'am. Thank you for this marvelous session on graphical sources. It will be very useful for all our... Uh, we now have our lunch break till 2 p.m. So, we will...